Hello, everyone, and welcome to Pivot. Today, we have Donna Seymour of Kuchina SA. Welcome, Donna. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Can you please tell us a little bit about uh, Kuchina SA and what is happening in your world right now? Sure. Well, um, Kuchina has been in San Anselmo for 22 years. I've owned it the whole time. Um, and of course, as everyone knows, Shelter in Place started on March the 15th. And since then, we've had to completely change our style of business. Obviously, we were a dine-in restaurant, and now we're completely takeout and delivery. Wow. And how yeah. is that going for you? Um, it's been a crazy ride because obviously it's almost the antithesis of what we were doing. So we had to learn a whole new business model at the, on the turn of a dime. And uh, I'm really proud of my staff. They've done an excellent job. We've been learning as we've been going, but um, it's been really successful and we, we feel very appreciated. Awesome. Well, Cucina SA is one of my favorite restaurants in San Anselmo. And I love the fact that you're still operating and we can still get your food. Um, and I really love all the little cocktails that you guys have been doing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's been really fun to sort of see the development of that and sort of see how you have pivoted um, in even your offerings and the different things you're able to do. Um, I know that you and I had this uh, interview scheduled a couple weeks ago and we had to postpone it because you had to go to the bank um, to deal with the PPP, the payroll protection plan. Is that what it is? Payroll protection yes, plan? exactly. Um, can you tell us a little bit about sort of how, how that experience went for you and, and what's happening with that now? Sure. Well, um, the PPP was designed for small businesses to help them survive the closure of their businesses and to keep their staff employed. Um, a lot of restaurants have closed completely. Um, some restaurants have changed to a model where they just have family members helping them doing takeouts and deliveries. My goal was to try and keep my staff employed as much as possible. They are my extended family. I feel responsible for these people. I have 36 employees. Wow. So we quickly moved to a takeout and delivery model. But of course, something like the PPP is hugely important for us to be able to access some funds. Um, when you switch your business model completely and you're trying something new, obviously our, our business numbers, are, um, our sales are down tremendously, about 55% from what we were doing before. Um, and to have a plan like the PPP uh, release money and give money to small businesses to help them stay afloat through this pandemic was hugely important. It was a very frustrating experience. Um, the first round of funding ran out within two weeks. I had put my application in with um, my bank immediately, but it was a really slow process. And uh, as it came to light, there were a lot of large corporations that were able to get funding from this program. Um, depend, you know, of course, I'm not going to give my political opinions, but it just seemed so wrong that big, huge change could get uh, $10 million while there's all these little tiny businesses suffering. So right. they, they're trying to correct that. They did release a second round of funding, and I'm still waiting to hear. So you have not yet received any funding from your nope. application for the PPP. Okay. I have not, nothing. You're waiting for the second round. Yeah. Wow. And you know, I'm reading people's uh, Facebook posts and their emails and texts, and it's a similar situation across the country with a lot of people that I connect with. It's, they're just really frustrated trying to get some answers. It's a whole new program, so people don't really know the answers sometimes, mm -hmm. like the intricacies of the plan. You're supposed to spend 75% of it on payroll etc things like that so um, I think the details will get sussed out as they roll the program out but in the meantime we're just playing a waiting game unfortunately yeah yeah um, so um, what it, has there been any silver lining or anything kind of um, surprising a surprising benefit that you have found from this experience from our pandemic um, on a personal note, I, I'm finding 
you know, of course, we're all quarantined in our homes with our children, and I have all teenagers and, and college age kids. So it's nice to have my son home from Boston. Love having him in the house. They're all going a little stir crazy. But what I love seeing, because I am coming to work every day, and I, I am not one of those people who has been completely at home. Um, I am at the restaurant every single day, seven days a week. I'm here in the mornings doing work. I'm here in the evenings doing the takeout. But I love seeing everybody out and about. They're out with their kids. They're hiking. They're biking. It just seems like everyone is uh, taking advantage of the situation or making the best of it, really. Mm -hmm. And spending good time together with their families and time outdoors. And, it, and that's wonderful. I think that's terrific. I agree. I agree. That's been, that's been one of my favorite things, too. Um, has just been seeing the families being together. Although, like you mentioned, people are getting stir crazy and you yeah. know, it can be a little bit um, difficult in the house sometimes. But um, I think that there are a lot of, you know, kind of neat silver linings that are happening. Um, is there anything that you have experienced sort of during quarantine that you will take with you beyond quarantine? Any new habits or... Um, Sure. Well, you know, um, from a business standpoint, because I was a personal standpoint, from a business standpoint, we will probably continue to do takeout and delivery. I think it's actually going to be a necessary uh, component of what we're going to be doing going forward. There's been a lot of talk about letting restaurants open up again, but so far there's no guidelines around that. There's no time frame around that. But once that does happen, there's been discussion about restaurants taking out 50% of their seating, et cetera you know, socially distancing tables, things like that. Um, staff's gonna be wearing masks and gloves. All of, those, all of those little details will really change the dining experience that we've known for the last 22 years. Um, and I think that the takeout has been really beneficial to us. We feel very blessed to be in this community and supported. And people thank us every day for being open and feeding them, and it's incredible. I've also participated with um, Dine One One Marin, which was started by five ladies in our community to provide meals to um, hospital workers, uh, people in um, senior living uh, communities, all sorts of areas. And so it's kind of a win-win because they're supporting restaurants and feeding people who are in need. So I think that some of, those, some of those components will stay with us. We'll continue to do takeout. We'll continue to try and build community. Um, it's really kind of, we don't know what it's gonna look like. What is my restaurant gonna look like? I just opened a bar a year ago. I expanded the restaurant and opened a bar and it was fun and social and crowded and none of that can happen. So what will it look like? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot so, of yeah. yeah, and so uh, what is your attitude going into that, looking towards the future? Um, what is your attitude? You seem very positive and kind of optimistic, even though you're understanding some of the sacrifices that need to be made. Um, it, what else are you thinking regarding that? Well, I think that this experience has just really brought home to me how supported we are by our community, and that is really important for me to continue. And so there are days where I, it's darker for me, of course, and there's days that I worry about not being here in a year or two years. But I, I, I really feel in my heart of hearts that we're supported, we're strong, we're going to sustain this, we're gonna get through to the other side. And we may have a period where the tables are far apart and we see only half of what we did. And so I just wanna come up with other creative ideas like the cocktails you mentioned. That came, you know, me not sleeping one night because worrying about paying bills and the ABC loosened what we could do. And so I would love to keep that component. People absolutely love it. It's been really successful um, and helpful for us mm -hmm. in the long term. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's been really fun to kind of see um, how you got creative and started to, I love the packaging and I love the little bottles and um, I have bought some and they're fantastic. So thank you. Yeah, yeah. it's been fun. It's and nice. I'm keeping my bartenders um, working too. They're in here three, four days a week bottling cocktails. Mm -hmm. They're handmade. They're fresh. Everybody mm -hmm. loves them. It's just a kind of, it's, a, it's been a fun way to connect with the community. People drop off their bottles to recycle them and, and pick up new cocktails. Or people are picking up a dozen and dropping them off to girlfriends and having a Zoom cocktail party or social distance birthday parties, those kinds yeah. of things. And it feels, it feels kind of neat to be 
have been able to be part of that. It's that's been nice. Fan- that's fantastic. Yeah. I love that. Um, Okay. Lastly, um, how can we support you as a community? Um, uh, Kuchina SA, you personally, what can we do to support you during this time? Well, for all local businesses, really, everybody needs support. Um, buy gift certificates. That is the easiest thing to do. If it's, if it's a business that you already frequent, buy a gift certificate. Don't use it for six months or a year. Put it in the drawer give them some income. I've been buying gift certificates from four or five businesses up the avenue. Um, obviously, buy takeout, get food delivered, just keep supporting. Everybody's showing the love, but gift certificates are the, are the easy way. It's a no-brainer. You can, you can provide those businesses with income and you'll use it at a later time because you know you already love the, the establishment. So that's super helpful. Awesome. Well, that is great. And I will look forward to buying a gift certificate and ordering from Kuchina SA soon. Um, thank, you. Anna, thank you so much for your time and good luck. And I look forward to watching how uh, you pivot um, in our near future and how we kind of um, unravel and come into the post quarantine era hopefully with grace and ease. I hope so. <laughs> so good luck to you and thanks again Thank for you. everything. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, Karen. Thanks, okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.